So the first section that we're going to talk about will be my products, which will basically be your base for any action that you want to do with uh, your designs. So the first thing that we're going to talk about uh, will be the filters here to your left. Uh, that would help you find uh, easily your products. Let's say you know you want to do something with all of your scarves, then you can just select scarves and you can see all of your scarves. Then if you want to see all of your products again, you would just simply click on reset filters and you would see again all of your available products in your portal. The other thing would be you can see all of your actions here to the right. So that would happen once you select a product. We're going to do that in a bit. Um, and the third thing would be that here on the gray top bar, you can see the action um, or what the feature means. So if let's say I would um, mouse over my filters here to the left, it would say filter your products by silhouette or artwork. Um, it's just to explain it to you um, in an easy way to know what happens when you click on that. So for example, if I would click here on the first product, I could see my um, my options to the men uh, in the menu to the right. I could either purchase it at artist price. I could publish it to my storefront. I can ask for design touch up. I can download presentation, um, move to trash, and reactivate it. Will not be active right now because uh, it's not in the trash currently. That would all only be activated if the product is in the trash. Um, and request new designs doesn't have anything to do with the product selected. It would just mean that you want to make a new design request for new artworks, uh, new shapes, or existing artworks with other shapes. We're going to talk about that in another video.